Now for more on US-China trade negotiations, I'm joined in studio by Arthur Dong. He's a professor at Georgetown University's McDonough School of Business. But Arthur, let's start with a tweet from the US President Donald Trump. He's been tweeting within the last couple of hours. Just this morning, he wrote, despite the unnecessary and destructive actions taken by the Fed, that's the central bank, the economy is looking very strong. The China and US MCA deals are moving along nicely. There is little or no inflation, and USA optimism is is very high. Arthur Dong, there are so many extraordinary things about that tweet, not least of all having a go in public again at the central bank for flirting with interest rates. But what do you make of the little line that says the China talks are going along nicely? I think that's a very positive expression. I think we can interpret that uh, based on what uh, President Trump has expressed in this tweet that a significant amount of progress has been made thus far with regard to the trade negotiations between the United States and China. What do you think Vice Premier Liu He can say today that he hasn't already said? I think one of the things he'll probably say is to uh, per perhaps convey a personal message from President Xi that he wishes and desires that the trade negotiations, negotiations continue to make progress mm -hmm. and that uh, China is committed uh, to uh, finding a way to resolve the differences between itself and the United States. Do you read anything into the body language? We've seen them looking pretty happy. We saw Vice Premier Liu He leaving the hotel this morning earlier. Do you, it's important at summits to look at body language. Do you read anything into that? Oh, absolutely. The personal expressions uh, you know, speak a lot, and sometimes they can speak volumes about the, uh, the condition or, uh, of the ongoing debate. What we saw when, uh, uh, when uh, Robert Lighthizer and Steve Mnuchin uh, arrived in China was warm expressions of, of, of welcome. And we certainly saw that on the, on the part of uh, uh, Vice Premier Liu He yesterday when he arrived in, the, in Washington, uh, both of which, uh, you know, broad smiles, uh, you know, uh, is certainly a, a higher degree of personal rapport mm -hmm. between himself and uh, 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 Robert Lighthizer. Now, Larry Kudlow, who is the senior economic advisor at the White House and a man who is a super patriot, has said within the past 24-hour news cycle that the Chinese have admitted in these talks that there is something in the IP, the intellectual property argument that the US is bringing to the table. Do you think Larry is just being a super patriot or do you think there is something there? No, I, I believe there is substance to this, uh, to this uh, expression. I believe that uh, it's one of the largest sticking points that have been ongoing throughout the entire trade debate. And I think that China has uh, been willing to make significant changes and concessions with regard to this question of intellectual property rights protection and also uh, in, their, it's, it's, it's in their own long-term interest right. to see to it that, uh, that uh, these protections are both enforced and uh, carried out in an equitable manner. So according to our Jim at the White House this morning, China's going to buy more U.S. goods, liquefied natural gas, soybeans, that sort of thing. But there are still very big issues. Apparently 90% of this deal is done, but there's still 10%, and it's the most difficult 10%. And apparently they don't know what to do about adding more tariffs from both sides in the future if things go wrong. And they also don't know what to do about the existing tariffs. Now, what do you make of that? I think that's the biggest sticking point. It's the question of the enforcement mechanism. If a, a deal is signed, uh, how are they going to about, go about enforcing it? And if, uh, and if uh, let's say, uh, uh, if many of these measures are, on, are not carried out or honored, uh, what will be sort of the response on the part of the United States? Mm -hmm. Will the United States reimpose sanctions or does the United States have the opportunity to have uh, sanctions remain in place and have those tied to performance over time? Do you think the Chinese are a little bit baffled by this administration? Do you think they sit in Beijing and scratch their heads and wonder about all the different mixed signals that come from all parts of the administration almost daily? Yeah, absolutely. When you, uh, you know, going back over the last 12 months, you, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> you're dealing with an administration that has vacillated uh, between, uh, between cooperation and between hostility. And at any given t uh, period of time, you don't know who you're dealing with with regard to whether it's Peter Navarro or right. whether it's Robert Lighthizer or any of the multiple personalities that have been uh, brought to bear in this trade, dis uh, trade discussion.
We still don't have a date for a signing ceremony. Do you think we might know today, Thursday in America, or tomorrow, Friday, or will they take it back to Beijing first? I think markets have been anticipating uh, that there's going to be a major breakthrough and, per and perhaps even a major announcement mm. that there will be a summit between the two presidents. So I'm more than 50% 50, uh, 50 hopeful uh, or optimistic that uh, we're going to have a major, major breakthrough soon. We'll leave it there. Arthur Dong, thanks very much. It's Appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Thank you.